city streets and stuff. Flight doesn't seem too bad at the moment. Right, we're about to start the bomb run, so it will be flying straight and level from here. That was quite close. Bomb bay doors opening. Let the aircraft settle and we'll join the bombardier on the uh, Northern bomb site. It's quite clear, you can see the target there. We've got two little friends flying. I think that's the target there. The aircraft's just settling down. And hopefully, if we can, I guarantee as soon as we get to it, we'll be looking through that cloud, but for the moment, oh, yes, okay, we're just straightening up there. There we go, he's selected it and he's locked on, fantastic. Um, might not actually do any changes to that, that is looking on the money. He's got excellent gunnery skills now, Hazel Foster, so um, we will leave it as is for the moment, especially as we're going through this cloud. Oh, that cloud came over quick, didn't it? Hopefully we'll get a break in it very soon. I'm expecting a wall of flak to be thrown up in front of us any moment. But there's no point looking through the uh, northern bomb site with all this cloud. He's locked on, he had a good bead on it. It looked like he was tracking well, so... We'll leave it for a few moments. I don't want to do the mistakes we did last time of doing the uh, last minute corrections, but we might have to, depending on how the the timings land with this cloud. And there's the flak. That looks pretty thick. Okay, I'm looking now. It's kind of drifted off target a little bit. Let's bring it back online. There we go, I'll hold it there. It's actually far better looking down the Norden bomb site at this stage because um, seeing all the flak exploding around the aircraft is a little unsettling. Sometimes it's nice just to concentrate the mind on one thing. Oh. Everyone okay? I heard a grunt. What I might just do is um, juice the drop a little bit. It's quite a big site this one, so um, yeah, it's going to drop somewhere in the middle. And hopefully that's enough. Oh, this flak feels sounds horrible. As soon as we can. Oh, that sounds like a bomber being hit. Oh, that sounds like another one's been hit. What could be exploding? Yeah, that sounds like the flak blew up one of our little friends. Good God, they're flying a little bit too close to us then. Lots of hot metal flying around by the sounds of it. Hold on, nerve. Losing it under the cloud. I'm not going to make a correction this time.
Oh, we're actually probably slightly to the right of the site by the looks of it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna adjust now. Ah, here's the target. Obviously, it did say that it was damaged, and you can see the damage we've done previously. I was going to say, I couldn't see many towers and stuff popping. So we're bombing down this side, so we may or may not... We've got some railway cars and stuff there on the, uh, the marshalling yard area. Smoldering smoke there where the fighter probably came to ground, and our aircraft passing this side of the, the target. So, yeah, we're bombing. Well, somebody's falling back, by the looks of it. Well, wasn't perfect, but it was already damaged to begin with. Another near miss, probably. You can see, the previous bomb run, this bomb run. There is indeed a bomber, but he's coming back into formation. Hello there, is that first mate? Oh my goodness, first mate. Are you okay? It is first mate. Where have you been? You were the one who was bombing behind everyone else. Maybe she got clipped by uh, an aircraft? Oh, you don't suppose the little friend clipped one of our own aircraft? I hope that's not the case. Anyway, uh, bombs have been dropped. The target is burning below us. There wasn't much to blow up, actually, but now we're going to do a short hop. We've st we still got two little friends. I don't know, then. Uh, anyway, we're going to continue on. We'll be making a turn to uh, the right soon and heading off in that direction, hopefully without any more attention of the little fighters. A little bit of light flak popping up now. It starts to um, really get thick. Ah, uh, what the heck. Let's just... Um, let's just drop down and try and get out of the worst of it. Oh no! What's happened to um, Killing Time? Pilot. Killing Time is out. Her pilots are down. Join formation. Come on, pick their pilots up. They've obviously had a bit of flak. Oh yeah, the pilots are all out, aren't they? Come on, boys, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up quick. Fire! Put the fires out now. Try and pick up one of the uh, pilots. You see, there's no one at the wheel of this bomber. Thankfully, uh, she's out of the thing. But if they can pick up the other pilots. They should be able to rejoin. The, the, the aircraft itself looks okay. Looks like they're taking a few flat bursts around the um, cockpit. They're trying to pick them up now. Come on, killing time. See the, um, the top turret is actually doing the work. You see it's not rotating at the moment. Come on. Oh, co-pilot's up. Co-pilot's up. There he is. Oh, thank God. Right. They should be okay. Get them back into formation. Oh, welcome back. Oh, that's that's fantastic. There's actually two bombers out there. There's another bomb. What happened to first mate? What is going on? We must have lost them, the damaged bomb. They, they must be damaged and we lost them in the turn, but they're coming back to us now. I think that's killing time. I think. Coming in really hot. Whoa. Is that killing no, it's gotta be killing time. Welcome back, killing time. Great to have you back. I was bit yeah, there she is. Fantastic. Cool. That bomber seems to be in trouble though, which is a bit of a shame. And it's coming in. Bandit incoming eight high. Eight high. Bandit incoming eight high. Bandit coming in. Seven o'clock high. Bandit coming in. Seven o'clock high. 
I see them. One and nines. Can't get him. First mate seems to be taking the brunt of that fire, but she's still with us. It's just two of them? Oh, look at the damage on the wing. Oh, hello. Damn it. Bandit incoming, eight level. Bandit incoming, eight low. Yeah, he's got some uh, fuel coming out of him. I seem to be not having trouble spotting them at the moment. Calls seem to be slightly late, or they're looking at different aircraft. Aircraft coming in. Going for the one below us. Ah, oh, that's awful. Bandit, ten o'clock level, coming in. See him. He's coming round. Not leading him very well today. See him. Here he comes. He's going for first mate again. Switching to us, is he? Guns has gone down. Man down. I can get to him. Good stuff. In the meantime, we'll pop back on the, the gun. I knew, I knew it would be me this time. I just knew it. Yeah, we weren't going to go three missions without an injury, were we? Yeah, somebody confirmed that. Oh, somebody got something. I think, I think that's one of our. I think that bomber there is quitting time has rejoined us. A blanket of cloud just below us now, which might hide some of the aircraft coming up. Yeah, waste gunners are up now. Confirmation, yes they are. Good stuff. And we're running for the coast. The coast is our freedom. That is where the uh, Luftwaffe range runs out, I think. That's, that's a waste of ammo. All of a sudden I don't seem to be able to Bandit, hit anything. It's not quite low. Hopefully the other gunners, well, they can see him because they're calling him out. Oh, he's doing all the way down there, look. I can't make these guns work. Oh, I overheat the barrel, probably. Let's um, try and fix it. Clear the jam. Excellent. It's ten past eleven. We're a little bit jiggly, but uh, you can see the enemy coast is behind us. We are heading across the pond now to England. It's East Anglia over there. This is Kent. Um, you see, we're dropping down from our twenty-eight thousand feet, so we're allowing all these damaged bombers to just ease off their engines and hopefully cruise in with us. Um, so far, so good. Um, we're going to continue to fly across the channel now and hopefully without any much or too much drama we can uh, get these aircraft down. 
11.41 down to 15,000 feet and we're just crossing the English Channel now so about another 15 minutes of flight time and we should be back at home base no further losses I'm happy to report we've got quitting time still with us with a downed engine number four and uh, yeah first mate killing time with us too we'll continue on okay we're over friendly pace uh, you can see first mate dropping back begin her um, descent and orbit and approach a bit of a puff of smoke from my number one engine We'll follow suit. Okay, there you go. It's quitting time with a dead engine. Everyone else seems to be okay. Oh, look at the flat Orbit, damage on that wing. Oh, they got lucky. Don't think that's one of my aircraft. Crikey. Right. Hopefully everything's okay and we can get her down in short order. bit of lift, put the nose down a little bit to get our descent back. Bit of power to stabilise. We're drifting a little bit. Bit of a heavy hit, bit of a bounce, but we're down. Wasn't ideal, but ooh, we're down. How's the undercarriage? Looks fine. Good, right. We're going to get parked up and um, head to debriefing. And as we join into mission debriefing, quite positive music for a change. It's normally dawn like the chimes of doom but let's see how this reads 16th of May 1944 the Wan Eichel oil production facility was attacked distance flown 846 miles bombers lost or missing zero so that bomber we saw on the upper echelon which was um, missing must have been must have returned to base later it wasn't out of the fight completely she w wasn't with us but she managed to get back so zero bombers lost, which is fantastic. Enemy fighter shot down ten. Bomb damage estimate near miss is what what I predicted. To be fair, um, uh, Staff Sergeant Berger received a severe wound. He's our gunner, so he'll be out for our uh, waste gunner. Sorry, he'll be out for um, a period of time, probably three weeks. And there's the bomb damage assessment. Make of that what you will. Commanding officer's summary, no promotions, you never do. Medals awarded, Staff Sergeant Roberts, Medal of Honor. And Staff Sergeant Schumacher, our tail gunner, Soldier's Medal. God, he's bagged another couple. No crews missing, fantastic. That is, that's why the music's playing. Happy days. Successful mission. We hit the target, even though not great damage. Done. 10 enemy aircraft shot down and all our crews and aircraft made it home. That is a good day. That is a good day indeed. Um, we didn't hit the primary, so again, no point looking at the post-mission reconnaissance. We'll head into the office. And then here we can have the happy reading. We've survived six missions. 32 aircraft kills to our credit. Wow, we did bag a few on this one then. Let's um, saddle over to mission number six. Mission number six, here we go. So the oil finery was attacked, when I call um was the actual one we hit, near miss. Uh fighters shot down. S Staff Sergeant Roberts got three enemy aircraft. He's the uh, bull turret gunner, isn't he? I said we that first wave of um one nineties that came up that I because they were coming up so steeply um from below, they must have been, you know, quite slow airspeed. That's probably why we got such good uh shot rate against them and then Schumacher on the uh, the tail shot down three 109s so 109s are Schumacher's specialty and uh, Roberts' speciality is 190s which is great 
So Berger got severe wound, Roberts got the Medal of Honor for his three kills, and a soldier's medal for Schumacher for his three kills. Happy days. If we have a look into the crew file then, Foster Graves, our bombardier, he's, uh, he's got good gunnery now. That's improved. Um, he's got excellent bomb aiming, as we know, and he's been with us for every single mission. Uh, Robert Culver, our navigator, has also completed every single mission. He's above average uh, navigation, but that's not really improving much. Um, the pilot, Denny Depperschmidt, has been with us for two missions now. He's got above average piloting. Uh, oh, three missions, I beg his pardon. He's completed three missions. So the same will go for the co-pilot, Vincent Livers. He's got above average piloting as well. Top turret is Peter Shu, who's been with us for every mission so far. Excellent gunnery, above average first aid and technical. Our radio op, he's a replacement, Brian Stubbs. Um, average gunnery, above average first aid. He's completed three missions as well. Bull turret, Cole Roberts, bagged three enemy aircraft kills today. Good gunnery skills. Um, only average morale. I thought that would have picked him up. And I think he's done every mission so far. Four, five, six. Yes, he has. Um, left waist, obviously, uh, was it Berger got injured, so he'll be out for a bit. Eustace Rowe is on the right waist. Excellent gunnery skills. Um, he's been on every mission as well. And on the tail is our tail gunner number three, our second replacement, Harold Schumacher, who's been really has been um, making a name for himself. Good gunnery skills now, and um, he's bagged 12 aircraft, I think. Got himself a Medal of Honor, Distinguished Service Cross, and a Soldier's Medal in three missions. Incredible. Let's have a quick look at the medical file. Uh, Tony Wilson, our original gunner, he tail gunner that is, yeah, he was injured on the first mission. He's back in, uh, what were we, the 16th? So six days time, less than a week before he returns to the aircraft. Marty Copeland, our pilot, he got himself... Um, it was a severe wound. He's not back for another um, 12 days. Same two, I think, for Marty Roth, our co-pilot. Um, same injury. So they obviously took some flak to the uh, the cockpit and they've both been injured similarly. Um, Xavier Scott, our radio operator. He was injured, but he should be back soon. 21st. Yeah, he's back in uh, five days' time. Uh, so Philip Schmockel, who was our replacement number one, our second tail gunner, he got injured as well. He's also bagged himself. He's an ace. He's got distinguished service called Purple Heart and a Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor, sorry. Uh, and he's back on the twenty-first, so only in five days again. So depending on when the next mission is, it could be in five days' time. So we might have some of this crew back. And today, Robert Berger got injured. Our left waist gunner. Um, I think that's his first. Yes, he's been on every mission so far. Severe wound, yeah, he's not back till the 6th of June. Uh, so we'll wish him a speedy recovery and we'll get a replacement on the, uh, the the waist for next time. So there we have it. C Cup completed six missions. We didn't fall foul of the, uh, the sixth mission curse as we have done in the past. <laughs> it's more relief than anything, isn't it? It is a relief to get, you know, to get back to base every time. So mission number seven will be coming next week. I hope you enjoy it. Take care. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.